Hello everyone, my name is Sean and I'm one of the CAD CAM applications engineers at Man and Machine. Welcome to our first in our series of HSM tips and tricks videos. This video is going to be based on parameters and how we can use those parameters inside of HSM. So let's jump over into Inventor and have a look. So here we are inside Inventor with our lovely Man and Machine logo. So what do I mean by parameters and how can we use these? Let's come over here on the left and we'll edit our toolpath. Now each of these fields that we have inside of our edit toolpath page and in each of these tabs, any of these editable fields, if we hold the shift key, hover over a field, we get a secondary box that opens up, um, regular to the one that we get when we just hover over it. So in this field you can see we have the value that is outputting, the expression, our system default and our parameter name. And the parameter name is the one we want, so it's tool underscore spindle speed is the one we're going to be using. So I've noticed down here that my feed rate is pretty high here. So let's have a look and find out why that is. We'll edit this expression, and here we go, we've used a parameter, and we've just used too much of a percentage. So we've called up the tool spindle speed, so this is this tool spindle speed parameter, the number of flutes the cutter has, and we've worked all of that out at 40%. So let's reduce this down to 20%. Let's click OK. Now as you can see, this is now this cutting field has changed to our parameter name. So if we click on any other field, it should update. If it doesn't update, re-enter the field that you want of the, any field and it will update automatically. And as we can see now, 4,800. It's a bit more reasonable of a, of a cutting feed rate given our spindle speed. This can also be used in other fields and other areas. So let's come over into our pass tab and have a look at our roughing step down. Now 25.6 is an odd number for a step down. So let's have a look and find out where that's coming from. So our expression, we can see it comes from the length of our flute, so tool underscore flute length, and it's working out a percentage of that flute length, so in this case 80% of that tool. So it's taken that parameter from our tool page. So let's have a look, tool library, we'll edit our tool, or shift, hover over, as you can see, tool underscore flute length. The other parameter that was being called earlier was coming from our number of flutes, which is in feeds and speeds. If we shift and hover over number of flutes, and there we get tool underscore number of flutes. So that's really all I've got to say about parameters. Um, they're very helpful, very useful, especially when you're doing something like adaptive and you want to work out your step downs. It's really good to use that um, tool percentage expression. If you have any other questions, or if you're interested in HSM, please contact one of our sales team and they can either put you through to myself or one of the other applications engineers, or may even be able to answer the questions themselves. And until our next video, let the chips fly.